Sometimes he is cheeky, but he's always fair. He lives in Australia, always chaps around. Can you hear him coming? Listen for the sound. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he stands with all the boys and girls. When he takes all the mail, he is not slow. Turns his little wheels to where he wants to go. Turns his chuffing up along a steep bend. He is always happy, he's everybody's friend. And everybody's friend. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy. He's friends with all the boys and girls. He's the greatest engine in the world. Lucy was put in the shed as she got mended. She was feeling upset sick in all her insides. Yesterday she had a crash and the fat controller was very cross with what she was doing without telling anyone. Oh dear, I have been silly to wander off to Devonport to find my mine, she thought. I wonder what Twilight will see. She was just about to think when Twilight came up. I'm to take you to where you worked in secret, so I'm your driver. She took her to the mine. <laughs> Twilight parked Ruthie in the siding to talk to her. What has been troubling you when you were taking the green waste of leaves? It's nothing, Twilight, but I'm upset sick. I've nearly got blamed from the fat controller and pondered. It's when I had been naughty on running off to the stone railway of Tillis and got chased from Henry. You spotted me. I was worried you would blame me. I wouldn't blame you, sweetie. I care for many engines and love them. I'll tell you what. Why don't I show you something new? I have a small creek which leads to the water hole. All right. Twilight showed her a secret place she never saw for years. This is where I spend some of my time wallowing in this water hole. Like it? It's wonderful. I never saw it in all my life. That's when I didn't rub in the engine like Percy back in 
She gave Hershey a rub, a second one, that seemed to make her pleased. Rosa then showed her what she did when she ran her without the fat controller knowing. All the leaves have been taken to the tip with the crash. They fell when none of us visited. You were naughty and was getting a clean. Remember when I discovered it and you found your own castle Celeste used to take you to her? Oh yes. And your friends were invited to it. And Casey Jr. was part of the affair. He used to comb my hair. Oh, it is cute. Then she showed her where she crashed. The green waist was tidy. I was caught in the act yesterday back. I tied it up what you made and then asked the fat controller to let me spend some time with you. You could find a photo frame to put yourself in it so I could give it to you. Oh, thanks. That's kind. Here it is. We'll make our photo. At the end of the day, Rosa took her home to sleep in May. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. I could tell Percy this. Do you think you show him what you showed me at your summer castle? I would, when I have time to. Goodbye. Bye then. Rosa steamed all the way home to Hewenville. Complete success, Percy. I knew that couldn't cheer her up, Twilight. Mind if I show you the water hole next to my summer castle in Davenport? Of course you can. Right after bed. Good night. Night then. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he stands with all the boys and girls. Percy is a saddle tank, he chops everywhere. Sometimes he is cheeky, but he's always there. He lives in Australia, always chops around. Can you hear him coming? Listen for the sound. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he stands with all the boys and girls. When he takes all the mail, he is not slow. Turns his little wheels to where he wants to go. Percy's chopping up along a steep bend. He is always happy, he's everybody's friend, and every pony's friend. Percy, Percy, the greatest engine in the world. Percy, Percy, he's friends with all the boys and girls. He's the greatest engine in the world. <laughs>